I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine cause I want to. Even on the days when I'm late as ever, my time and it's right. Even in the darkest moments, stay close, I'm that shining the light. I can make an earthquake nervous. I can make the sun wear a visor. I can make a wise owl see me as a daily advisor. I'm that cool shade, peaceful night that's still my breath was a storm, I bet. I can make the thunder clap when I perform. It's just that in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, I can make time travel a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. I make the moon blue. I make him pigs fly. And I move mountains. I would have beaten the heart of a crash test dummy. I'm more swords down. Yeah. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights. Impossible, impossible, impossible. I do the impossible. Impossible, impossible. It's another one. We got another one. It's her. Who that? Big baby slide through in that drop top. Something about Ben's looking cute. That's honest. Her and her friends, big blinks and snatch waist. Yeah, she brought. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here between the Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. Ken Adewagu now out of his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. and throwing quickly out for Jefferson. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Vikings. Dalvin Cook, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Vikings need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because... Whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Golf 
half in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Good push up front in that run in between the tackles. Let's play a leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain. Second down. The Lions in a very solid 4-1 here in the early part of the year. And they've come in on a nice run of recent form. Four wins out of five. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience. All on display in that victory. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off play action. Here's gone. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. Throwing on third, gone. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they entered play on the two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them, but go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. Here's a second and five now from the 25. to Jefferson on the slant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Cousins in step with Jefferson that time. First down, Vikings. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. First down, here's the run with Cook. Taken down at the 42. Now this defense for the Lions, they were very good last week in the win over New Orleans. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks. And plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield when all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. Throwing on second and eight. Cousins swinging this out wide here for Cook. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. On first and 10, Cousins right back to Cook for another completion. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Back to the ground, Cook. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 88 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Again on first down, Cook, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. 
Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Play fake. Cousins. And complete right side to Cook. And they'll get this down to the 10. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now a design run with Jefferson. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Cousins gives way to Cook. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A gain of four on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Charles in an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10-zip as they come up first and 10. And the drive starts with a completion left side. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. The defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front, so when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out, because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. 
Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Throwing on second and eight, Cousins. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions. Touchdown. Well, I mean, it hadn't been a picture-perfect first half for this defense to this point, but that, that's a big play to get them right back in the ballgame. And I think that that changes their mind frame. Now they're saying to themselves, hey, we're still in this. And even though our offense hasn't done anything, we've had our troubles on our own right, we still made a play right there that could change the course of this game. Great job delivering. Nuwongu now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at Detroit. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Now they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. That's complete to Chandler on the check down. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Chandler on second down. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Cousins now. And this is caught for the ground. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Boy, that one was well-read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Second and five. Throwing. Cousins. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. And the Lions will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Golf. He's airing it out for Williams. 
And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jamison Williams, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions will take the lead here, the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. out of the gun. Cousins. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And the Lions are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Well, Charles, you were so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? But this is exactly what I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Well, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Now a play fake, and it's gone. He's airing it out for Williams. It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Nwangu now from his end zone. 
And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. On play action, Cousins out to his left. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Lions are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. On first and ten, it's Swift. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards to pick up, first down. These two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was the Lions who got the road victory in that one. So they'll be looking to claim the season series now here at home in Detroit. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Second and nine. Out of the gun. Golf. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Now it's gone. They're trying to find Chark, but it's intercepted. One side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks it right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Eluding the pressure right, and he'll just get rid of him. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. To throw his Cousins. Throw left side taken in by Jefferson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The catch and run good for 24 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. 104 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry put 
gets him over the 100-yard mark. From the 17, Cousins finding Hawkinson here on the out route. And he's brought down. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. It's Cousins on the sneak, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out, and the Vikings are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Pinheiro's extra point up and good, and the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. To the touchdown. Here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 30 big ones. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. is Swift on the counter and down to the 44 five yards that time. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Red and all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The offense on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. 
This time they face a third and two. Now it's gone off the bootleg. He's got his man. It's caught for a Ryan touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff. And the Lions are looking to run it to 5-1 on the season as they add to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They'll probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game. So every other player on the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. They do get a yard there. But only a yard leaves him with third and nine looming. That's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C in completion on first down. And you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Cousins to throw it. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Cousins on first down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. To throw again on second down, Cousins. He finds Corey Davis. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. To the air again, it's Cousins. And now here is another interception. Picked up by a feet to Malifonwu. And the Lions are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ballgame, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. 
Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. On second down, Swift. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. on the line in this one than just defending your home field CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory, so this one feels a little extra 